hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we're going to create this amazing over application using react native and beside this react native we are also going to use that react native maps and also several platform like react native google places autocomplete and so on so as you see that will be our application in both in for ios and also for android so both will be compatible for android and ios devices so now also there is a web version it will be available also if you see that you can watch it so it depends on how expo is delivering for that all cross-platform devices so let's see what kind of parameter we're going to build within this application so this will be our home page if i click on the services there will be the services page and then the activity and also the accounts which will highlight our account is strategy so in the home page if you just come over here we have one search bar that search bar is going to be generating from that react native google places autocomplete like if you want to search any places it will just coming up the prompt of about how the search going to be handled like if i want to search for like let's type new york okay as you see that new york ny usa is just coming here so just close it as you see that get rights and also order food is not applicable right now as we didn't choose any of that selected uh, scenario like where you want to go we need two particular setup from where we will start our journey means the origin and where we gonna stop our journey means the destination and in between we will also combine the distance to showcase in the map so right now let's we want to go from that washington dc so wc uh, okay i think wc it will provide that washington dc uh, not yet okay so washington dc so from that washington dc we will just roll back to new york let's see what kind of things we are appearing there so get it right click on that get it right so now we have one map scenario here you can see we can see our map and if we click here we have origin and we start our journey from washington dc usa so now that is a much more closing effect as you see react native maps is providing with all over the view you can uh, like you can zoom it you can zoom out it you can fill it in a very slight discrepancy you can move it a bit so all the cross platform combination we're going to provide because it will it's supposed to work with all the combination for android devices and then the apple devices so now i will choose my destination where i want to go i want to visit that our statue of liberty right so to visit that statue of liberty here as you see statue of liberty national monument i'm gonna click here as once i click did you see how direction is just mapped through so that's my uh, destination where i can go the statue of liberty and that is my origin from where i want to start so both are compact perfectly and aligned with that as you see now i can see my destination but still i didn't choose the right so let's click on the right so as i choose the right as you see i am showing here that distance here so the distance is 223 mile and there is a calculation in between happening there with that per capita and how many hours it will take with that ride and now within according to that car overview what kind of car i want to choose there is the price available there 157 188 275 so let's roll back and choose another destination no i don't want to go statue of liberty i will just visit on that new york one of my friends click on here and as you see i think the statue of liberty is the same place so we will just uh i think let's move to canada okay so let's go canada okay as you see the destination is mapped and we can see uh and you know that destination properties which the road is not finding that's why it cannot provide that one but i need a similar destination which is happening on that uh, so let's uh, go with that new york or uh, i can okay medical center is it going giving okay that's the different uh, center there so in right now in that new google update if it doesn't have the destination it will not work with you like that okay so we need to put a, a proper destination so it can be work here so new york state so we're coming back to the uss so you see now it 
going to find that combination of that route so now it have the route before it doesn't have so now we can see again origin from washington and that's our destination here new york and if we select our ride we can get a ride about hours defined there and also the price variation here so that is the simple combination how that source will work and now if i want to choose any of the right you see i can select and I can now click just see the combination here if I click if I didn't select any of it I will not be able to choose able to click here okay I choose now I can click so that's same thing so let's just try here London okay so let's move back to our Androids so from the London we will go from the London UK and get it right and after getting a right same parameter you see in the london overview we are here and origin the london uk so we want to see the airport over there so i will just choose another london and you see how particularly that avoiding view is happening here so your keyboard is not wrapping around your text okay cool so now we are getting from london to london airport so hit the right and 34.1 kilometers and the price segment is working and also that is called effect how simply and gorgeously we are maintaining if you click one of that i think that's super cool to do in that way and by the way if you are watching it and feeling excited on it to build from start to end please hit the like button and subscribe the channel and one more thing if you want to buy me a coffee uh, never feel bored on that buy me a coffee if you want the link it will be in the description to send that and by the way you can also because so many people around 80 percent of my viewers are not subscribed please do subscribe it will help me it will give me energy to build so many cool apps because uh, next we are going to build so many other application like the blog application ui with the mobile application segment then also you're gonna make some e-commerce website and not website the application and also uh, like the travel application booking application so i'm gonna go with the series of applications so slowly slowly i'm gonna dump everything here so feel free to go on and make it in a very good way so now if i choose for right now i combine it here just to come over here now you can make a more bit over there to combine that create a rotating like a view screen and other parameter that's up to you for right now i'm just keeping that variation and stuck in here so now let's go in the services you see the services so that's the kind of services you're providing you can make more services and also for the activity you can put whenever you are going to uh, shoot an activity you can come over here and for your account you can go through with the login setup but like i think i think uh, also from my next build i'm going to also work with that login setup how you can combine the login parameter in react native application as you see there's also a scroll view so you can scroll through it so i think that is the much more of the build which we are going to create right now so as you see we are going to start in a very slight way if we click and see all if we click on see all the same combination and with the expo is super fast to build those kind of application because expo is providing much more good variations so how you can start on that you can so we'll start with the get it started and we're gonna go and combine so that's the react native documentation over here and from the documentation we can go and overview how we can go and like that so click on get it started now with the get it started with react native there is a combination here because see can i use react native without a framework that's actually they are not giving uh like a hint you use that because a uh, bare react native project is pretty difficult if you are familiar with that next year's project or react project it will be very easy to go with that expo build it's very simple because it's uh, uh and capturing most of that react uh, net like uh, next js feature so i'm gonna close that if you're feeling that yeah do something with that native framework let me know in the comments and also also explain whatever the procedure you want to feel follow through that entire video let me know i'm gonna put through work on it so now here start a new react native project with expo that's the one we're gonna follow through so there is a description here how you can follow through expo is product and you can feel free to read those entire things that's a very good gig to start please try to read overall the documentation especially in the youtube video we are not delivering that much in pump about the documentation but whatever we write whatever we do we are getting it from here so if you want to learn from the beginning try to read your documentation that will help you to go fast and move fast forward 
so let's move to expo.dev and in the expo that's the video so so that's the build you can go through you can also read the documentation here how expo work how the things and our entire project will be built using typescript okay no other parameter we'll use the typescript because by default expo and react native are coming with the type safe parameter so we will also follow through that as you see you can go there is an example app there and how you can find all each and every platform and other things all description is like uh it's just properly delivered here so we're gonna go with the read the talks and from the documentation as you see if we just make a bit of bigger from you can read the documentation that's very good way to start and how not only that creating a native build application there is a lot of other things which you can explore and build so don't freak out just try to read it slowly slowly till to end it will very it will be very helpful so to create a project we will just follow through that and again if you are feeling that you are learning something new like the like the video and subscribe the channel and if you if possible buy me a cup of coffee so let's just start our building our project so from there create a project and as you see i need to run that command in my terminal to create my application so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take an empty folder empty directory here and then i'm gonna open this directory within my terminal i'm gonna drag it in my terminal here okay and then let's clear out okay so i need to run that command and i'm gonna make that as a over whitey after hit enter i'm gonna just simply use that npm packages if you want to willing to have to use that yearn or pnpm that's also fine with you you can use there is no issue at all with any of the package manager and now also if you're watching right now please hit the like button and subscribe the channel so many of your people like around 80 percent of my user are not subscribed please do subscribe so it can reach so many people and if you're willing to help me buy me a coffee the link it will be in the description to purchase a cup of coffee and i think it will be very helpful for me to stand up so let's just give it a bit of time to just initialize and get everything installed in your local machine okay everything installed perfectly so if i just put ls i'll be able to see my parameter here the project directory so let's put cd into uber yt and i'm going to just open that running that code dot within my good editor okay now there you have it your first ever react native application using expo so how we can explore a bit here so before exploring first i'm going to go in my terminal i'm going to run it first so while it's running we can explore it also so we're going to make that just npm start npm start and now if you're new to expo as you know expo is coming with a bunch of feature and ignore that error because that's coming for that node modules especially the node because i'm using that one not the lts so now you can also go to download expo go application both from that android devices for the play store and for ios in that app store you can download it then once you scan that it will directly open your application in your physical device that's the beauty of developing using expo in react native that slightly is not available but in expo you can build like that also, you can directly go with that to finding that open uh, the web, web version is in the local host 8081. If you just open that our local host and you just click on that, it will also open locally in a local machine. And now for the other parameter, I can open with if I press A, it will open the Android. For I, I also simulate iOS simulator and W for web. So what I'm gonna do is just just starting in the web that's why it's giving the heat as you see it will open in the local host 8081 okay just to give a bit of time because everything is here is bundling right so as you see that's our normal application and if you inspect you can go and hit back get everything same like the feel of a local application the way which we build so web application so you could use that parameter but in our today's build which i'm not necessarily needing that i'm going to open it in my simulator here i'm going to close it you can use it if you want to see the console log and other details that's up to you okay so let's open it Okay, now it's bundling again, so it will open in my simulator. I'm gonna make it a bit of bigger slightly so you can you can have a better look here. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's explore our application here. 
If you are familiar with the Next.js application or Next.js build, it will be very easy to grab it. Because as you see, if you're using the Next.js app router, the same app feature, we're going to have it here. We're going to have layout, we're going to have HTML and not found. So it's a bit of separate naming convention here, but working kind of same tree. Then we have our asset directory where we have the phones and our images. We have the components. Normal fashion, we have the similar components parameter. We have our constants and then we have the books and then the modules and the script. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove the script because if you are by chance, if your application is hang up and you need to start uh, reset it again, but you want to clean the cache, then this setup, it will just take you a very uh, normal form of applications which i don't want to use it so i want to come back this fashion like whatever we do after having that uh remove the cache or receive the cache i want to come in the same state of application okay still bundling let's give it a bit of time it's just taking a slight timing formation okay our application is open as you see it's now here in that my ios device in my simulator so let's just go and start building this application from the very beginning so how we can structure on that so as we have that application how we can make and craft on it as you see everything is coming or passing here in that layout you see we are injecting everything from that particular layout parameter and from this layout we can now also make the things like to make perfectly align with that okay i think that much zoom it will be perfect so in that layout we are declaring that our theme provider then is stack then in the first stack screen it's getting the tab so that's the tab which you are injecting here right now as you see you can also make okay looks perfect not so bad then we have our not found screen also so directly which is right now here i don't want it here anymore right i want to use my own parameter so from where i can get that as you see in that index function or index file here that's con like hosting all of this code here so what i'm gonna do in that first claims i'm gonna remove that i'm gonna create a view and then i'm gonna create a text and i'm gonna say hello and of course, you need to import that view from that React Native and also need to import that text from React Native. Okay, so hit save. And as soon as I hit save, as you see that hello world is available, but it's not in the view. Because whenever we are building our application, we need to provide a safe area view. And that safe area view is responsible to just leave the safe area view, the device area view where you are putting your like that age plan and also the clock and other parameters so that much area we need to save for our devices and we need to use that in that way so right now as soon as we did that it looks better on the screen so i'm going to remove this which i'm not using so now i can put a style here just a style equal sign then two second bracket and now i'm going to make that font size or you can say it will be one okay it's not providing i think yeah we can do like that style and oh sorry it should be the background color of the font size so let's just put it. you see the color is right and also we can make that like adding vertical put 10 uh, oops it's assigning fine you see we can get our padding so we can put our style in that fashion like in that uh, default parameter like the way we used to do it for uh, like the native applications but we will not do work in like that way so i'm going to use a separate package to start this fashion so what i'm going to do twrnc that's for our it will help us to provide that Tailwind CSS class names here in our applications. And that is the Tailwind React Native class name. So what I'm going to do is to copy that. And I'm going to take another terminal and then paste the code. And it's very simple to use it. First of all, I just need to import that parameter directly. After that, within the back tick, I can use it very much, very simple, easy so first i'm going to paste it here and instead of this as i'm going to remove on second bracket and then 
within TW. I'm going to put the back tick. Uh, what's wrong? What did uh, okay? We just remove that our okay. In that TW, they just put that PG rate of 400. Okay, as you see, that change or instead of rate, we can just make that as blue. As you see, we can now provide the class name the way we are willing for. So, this safe area view, it will be available for all over the applications. How? Because now, as you see, that's the explore. So, this is the button here which is providing us the explore. So, let's just go and create some more button here. I think we're not looking for the explore. I'll go in the layout. So, in that tab screen, or in that tab, I'm going to create several uh, file here. And one, it will be for my account.tsx and rnfe to create that React Native snippet. So that will be our account screen. You can rename also, no worries for that. It will work same like the Next.js convention is working. And after Explore, also we need to provide our services. We can go with the services or what do you say? I think, yeah, services and activity, that's two we need. So crbices services.tsx services and after that we need one more screen which is going to be our activity activity not capital should be lowercase activity.tsx okay so now our screen is ready as you see as soon i'm creating the screen in that tab it's just highlighting here so what we need to do i'm gonna go in my index here and not index in the layout i'm gonna remove i'm gonna just copy that and i'm gonna paste it okay now it will give an error because there is a multiple several times i use text so first time it going to be our services services and i'm going to change the title services and then it will be our what we can activity and also it will be it's safe as you see that is happening here and right now instead of explore i'm going to pass that our account screen account so this explore here which we are not going to use it i'm going to just simply remove that so now i need to change the icon because now the icon i have that will be like for the explore icon that is just coming right now here from the temper icon i use that code slash icon parameter so right now we will just uh, simplify to use what kind of icon we are looking for and if we just roll back in our services, instead of that code slash icon, we're going to provide that icon as apps. So first, it will be, in, if it's in focus, it will be app icon. If it's not focused, it will be apps outline. It's safe. As you see, if it's focus, that is coming services. And if it's not focused, that is also coming that apps outline. And for the tab bar icon, it's already predefined here, as you see. It will be like that it's using the ion icons that app, uh, expo vector icons is just choreographing on that and you can also modify it if you want but for my purposes it will save it so i'm not gonna uh, modify that one it's not needed actually so for that other icon for the activity i'm gonna pass that on icon which will be document and here it will be document document outline and for the account it will be same as usual we're gonna put a person icon person icon and then we're gonna just roll back on that person outline so now as soon as we click as you see we got four screens so our prime separation is just started so as you see now this is the color which we should have a black black color right so now we are having this color so they just go in that color schema here uh not this here uh from where we got the color schema so the use color schema is coming here and i think we need to go in the colors so as you see in that colors we have the different variations so now we can change the colors from there 
it's putting it on the screen so from that colors we can just predefine here and you see instead of this color we can just put that our black color which one we want okay and i will not modify that same color if you want to modify you can modify but for me it's it's just working fine so no need to modify it now i have this scenario is done but when i'm just moving any of the screen i want the safe area as you see in the home i have the same area but in services it's not there right so what we're gonna do we're gonna create a shareable component as we can mention here as a wrapper or as a container as up to you whatever the name you're gonna define in that container we're gonna refer that all other parameters that how that will say or what kind of scenario we are going to create here so here i'm gonna take two parameters First, it will be the children which are gonna come as props and then also i'm gonna pass the class name why because we will be able to define we can we can shoot some defined class name because if we just make an we need to use the dynamic class name right like if we not we could not use the dynamic class name it's not looking good right so to use the dynamic class name we need to pass the class name and don't worry that will be the style but we will take the object parameter as the class name so first define the interface which is everything is coming as a props so give a name as the props and in the props first it will be children and that children it will be let's say it will be react dot react notes and for that class name if it's available because not all the components it will pass if it's available it will be as a string so instead here i'm going to pass that as done. now we need to work a bit here to make it align first i'm going to import that our twrc because we're going to use that uh, style using that and here in the view instead of view it will be a safe area or we can keep the view here and instead of the text we will just render our children after that, I'm going to just wrap everything here. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to pass that safe area view to wrap everything within that and pass this back. So let's now define some class name. So in that style, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass in that parameter with that TW and with the back tick. So background color, it will be white. And I'm going to make it a flex one. Okay. Hit save. So right now, that's the much things I'm doing. Also, I'm going to remove that text because I'm not going to using it. And in that indexed, I'm going to keep that parameter. I'm going to use that container. Container. And it to be keep that similar. Same. Okay. As soon as I did the container, I do see the same. Same thing is happening. So I'm going to remove this uh, view. Okay. But I'm having our safe area content. So if I put, uh, if I just roll back here, put a class name and make a, because right now it will not be a while here because we didn't pass it here. So right now, if I just make that as a BJ of um, red 300, as you see, that's my entire proportion here. So it's working perfectly. And also here in that view right now, I'm gonna put a style because I'm going to make with the TW, I'm going to give a padding of 5, which is going to be working for all the sector. But now, I'm going to also pass a condition here. What kind of condition? Before passing that condition, I'm going to wrap it entirely within our third bracket, because then it's going to inject with that array. So now, I'm going to just pass a parameter. If there is a class name, there is a class name, then I'm going to shoot some kind of classes. And if there is no class name, like his uh, class name is empty, then I'm going to pass something like that. So if class name is empty, so it will be just simply go as null. And if there is class name, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use that TW and then I'm going to pass that with this parameter, the dollar sign. I'm going to pass the class name, whatever the class name we are providing. So now let's test it. In that here, I'm going to give a padding of zero, right? also video of rates 800 you see 
as soon I'm passing the class name is taking the hit. So it means our class name parameter is working. So instead of, instead of dealing directly in that class, we can now pass our custom class name here. Right? So that's the beauty of that container. And also there is another parameter if you're running using that uh, Android devices, you're going to face that. So I'm going to fix that for you. We need to pass a condition here. If we have the platform, so that's also I think need to import from that React Native. If we have the platform.os and is equal to equal to what you can say Android, because in that Android devices we need to provide a notch, otherwise it will be fine. So if other devices like iOS MT should be zero, but for Android we're gonna provide an flashy thing, so it will be margin top should be ten. That's it. As you see in that iOS, you will not find the differences. But if you're using the Android, maybe you will find the difficulty why my header is not coming in the bottom. You just need to uh, extract what kind of height you want to put or what kind of margin you want to carry. It depends on you. If you just uh, put in that fashion, it will. So don't worry about it. So right now, okay, it's look fine. So in every corner, I'm gonna pass that. So gonna just pass that simply my container okay so now it will follow back to our account and also for our services it save and for our activity so now if we click in the services services activity activity account okay so now it's working perfectly fine now we can go and style to use other parameter and how we can start that so in that index so we can rename it as home page also that depends on you i'm going to just close other parameter so in that index first we're going to have our logo right so i'm gonna remove that dummy styles for I'm going to remove that entire style tag because we are not going to use that style. I'm going to remove that safe area. I'm going to remove also, okay, I'm going to remove all. Whenever we're going to be using it, we're going to import. So in that container, I'm going to passing one image tag. So it will be image and that image tag need to import from that React Native. And that image, if you are new in that React Native, as you see, you need to provide a source. Now, if you are if your images is hosting in locally, you just need to implement within the object parameter. But if you are using any link for an image, like you want to generate the image from any of the server outside, like HTTPS link, then you need to pass that URI. Okay, that URI going to tell what from where it need to host that or get back your image. So I'm gonna get grab that image from here. So that will be my line. Hit save. You will see nothing yet because we need to provide our style means the class name and that's tw and here i'm going to provide the width of 24 and height of how much we could get i'm going to give a height of 10 hit save and you see that's broken because it's not shifting properly and i'm going to provide that precise mode which is going to be as pain hit save now we're having our overlap and after having overlap logo, we need to also combine three parameters. One, it will be our search bar. And after that, uh, search bar. And then we also going to have our nav options. And also we need to provide our suggestions. Okay. So do that to create the search bar. What I'm going to do is to create a component here. Okay, so it will be simply search bar dot tsx rnfe done. Uh, from where that error is coming, I think it's done. So now in that index, and instead of this, because now we need to provide our search bar. Okay, it's safe. So as you see, our search bar is there. So to the player uh, like uh, to get the search bar here we need to use that uh, one of the packages and if we just roll back to our app uh, like for our chrome okay let's go there and in that chrome we will find one application here not application we can say as the packages it will be react native google places 
I think it will be the autocomplete one. Make new team G O uh, G W. This is autocomplete. This is the one we're gonna use, and how it will uh, help us to grab that scenario. As you see, that's the simple library here. I'm gonna just copy that, and within this my parameter. Okay, let's just get my terminal. Okay. So now we need to having after importing we need to have to set to several parameters one is that we need to generate one we need to get the placeholder and then we need to generate our api key so only it will work when we are going to provide our api key so we need to grab that first to grab the api key what i'm gonna do uh, first thing first in that our application layer what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna create a file here name config.ts so this config.ts it will be responsible to grab our api key so you can just simply write in there what kind of api key it will be available we can just simply make with that export const equal to right now i'm gonna pass in an empty string okay also you can use the enb file so that ups to you for enb you need to go and a separate setup like separate combination wise you need to generate that enb and then you need to configure it but right now instead of configuring i can just simply go and drag it that okay so restore back our application layer here we from there we just going to go in that google cloud console and from the cloud console First, I'm going to change my account here. Okay, I'm going to go in by this account. And right now, we need to create an application to go with the beginning. So, as you see, my Uber app is running from here. So, from this perspective, I'm going to take a new project and I'm going to pass the name of that Uber and create. I'm not going to choose any other parameter okay it's creating let's see okay it's still rolling so sometimes it will take a bit of slight time just to get configured and then it you can use it so i think now we need to shift or change within our application so now in that here click on that particular left panel in that api services enable api and services we need to click on that and after clicking we need to enable several services here first we're going to enable apis and services so from here we're going to use that one direction api if you click here as you see that's the direction api we are going to use and we need to click enable and after clicking enable it will also provide you an api key which you can use your application so that you can grab the data from directly in the google and if you are new on that particular instances you need to also configure in the pricing method don't worry it will not take any of your money from your card it will just configure that amount per passage just to see if you are okay like if you are the real person then it will roll back also the little amount it will deduct and then it will provide the google will provide around 300 reals uh, 300 dollars sorry 300 dollars for free so you can maximize that amount within three months so don't worry you can cancel it anytime so for testing this application i think 300 is too much so you can also use that amount to just to go and use some other products from the google so this will be my secret so you need you need to just place it here so what i'm gonna do uh as you see okay uh go to google and I'm gonna do it later and don't worry i'm gonna replace that api key later on so you don't need to go and check that okay so enable apis as you see we have a multiple api sections we can go and enable with that uh, enable all apis so you will have to write tools to build it so that will enable all right so you can now preview api what kind of api you are using for the web and also for the android for the ios how you can connect that so that depends so from the api services let's just go and grab another some of the more api so from here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use that uh this also gets places api so it's enabled already here so because i click on that so it's enabled particular instant geolocation is not needed so you must not do that to click enable all but direction api we need 
Force API I'm not going to use in this build and also I'm going to use the distant matrix API so now that depends on you either you can click to enable whatever the necessary API for that instances or you can go to just manually enable one by one which you are looking for I think I'm going to keep it that way just be like that if we are using it we can grab it so I'm going to change my API key then I'm going to start building again just replace the key and just close my terminal so now what i'm gonna do is that let's just go in our application layer and just see here how we can use that we need to import this parameter okay let's copy that and in the search bar first we need to import this and then how we can use it so if we just see our this parameter here we can just directly copy this portion just to see what kind of method it's going to implement here so instead of having this text here in the search bar we will just grab these portions or directly you can also inject without also passing that view because right now we are not needing that view we can just generate it so okay done if we just roll back our application as you see we have one search if i put that usa uh, anything is coming right now nothing is coming because as you see in that api key we need to provide our api key so i'm going to type it and then we need to import it from that google maps api key if i hit save and now if we just come back here and then type something you are say say uh, i think uh, still it's not providing why so Ah, okay it's just providing the log data so it will i'm going to remove that here right now and instead of that i'm going to pass that where save and also i'm going to pass a bit of the style parameter here so that you can see it properly and that style i'm going to just grab it here okay so also i need to import that style sheet for that so now here i'm going to pass a container here so that's the container will get the generating of that container because right now it's here but you can see it so we need to make that flex zero then we're going to have the text input parameter and then also the text container so in that first particular instances i'm going to pass that style on that name so it will be style on that input box styles it's safe as you see right now we can see that because it was available there but we cannot we see it was not visible because of that instances so if we search for london you see now we can see that so also what i'm going to do is that passing that two different value which is going to be focusing on to get that our near, nearby places api which will be google places search and the debounce of 400 just to wait for 400 milliseconds before showing you the results so it will be giving a smooth transition whenever you are typing and also for the page details which is going to be we need to uh, make it as true so it will also fetch the details parameter and then we're gonna provide that min length so the minimum length should be two address so the two parameter to character and then enable preview uh, not that enable powered by container which we can see it powered by google we can make it false so that it will not be no. so if we click here and you see that's gone if i click something any of the addresses is just matching and providing that so right now if whenever we are having the addresses as you see once we click we need to pass that addresses to our store so that it will be available to all the particular parameter and that we can use it perfectly and how can we can set up this tool in our react application and for this tool we're going to use the same redux toolkit so it will be let's just search it so it will be redux toolkit okay so let's go in here and click on the get started and how can get uh how can we deal with that for the quick start parameter we need to just import like uh like to just to install all these things so i'm gonna just hit enter and after that 
we need to create a store then we need to uh, create a provider to inject everything then we need to create the slice to get our slices parameter so first thing first how we can deal with that so it depends how you will create your store how you will make it look it better so what i'm gonna do just generating that file format and setup so let's just go in our application uh, okay so here uh, i'm gonna close all and in that stop layer i'm gonna open a file name of the store store and on that file i don't know from where is providing that error that's what i'm looking the tabs but it's not there what i'm gonna do is to reload my window i think it's just uh, a glitch okay so now yeah it, it was just a caching so in that store i'm going to create a file and i'm going to also pass the name as a store so it, it, it will not rising uh, raising any issue here and it will be ts so in that store i'm going to grab that properties so these things here to create this store so i'm going to just copy that and hit save so we are going to have it store so that's the simple configuration of our store so now we're going to have our slices so i'm going to create a uber slices ts okay so in that slices we need to provide our detail scenario how we can do that so we're going to make that export const over slices is equal to and here we're going to use that create slice parameter which a function and within the function we're going to pass the object first we need to provide the name of our slice so it will be the name uh, i'm going to pass that over and also we need to provide that initial value okay so why we need that things because we need to have a three separate value like the origin from where we want to start our journey the destination where we want to reach and the travel time information like how much time we need to travel how much length how much price so all the calculation it depends on the travel time so first we need to get the origin then we need to find the destination then we need to measure the length of that destination origin to destination then we will calculate the price according to that kilometer or mile it depends on so that's why we need that initial instances so it will be first we're going to divide past that initial state and after that we need to pass that reducers okay uh, that's the functioning here as you see that's providing the creators uh, it will not work in that way so that's not these reducers so i'm going to just pass the clone okay so in that reducers we're going to have a three set of information okay presets not more of that one we're gonna set the origin then we're gonna set the destination then we're gonna set the travel time information as you see it's a simple configuration of the state in that state first we are taking the state of origin then whatever we are passing in our action dot payload we are just saving them there and destination the same thing travel time information the same parameter we are passing okay as we have it right now we will also we can also export that export const we can now pass that set origin and we can also pass that set destination and that set travel time information and it will be as equal to over slices dot actions okay so all the things we are passing as a tiny tiny action like whenever we're gonna hit one of the particular action it will pass our combination and also we're gonna uh, export defaults and that default parameter it will be over slices dot reducer so that will be our default parameter and instead of calling the selectors each and every time uh, directly we can also use that set of things like we can pass our set origin with that set origin how we can grab that state over origin state over destination state over travel time information so now if we click that like const uh, origin is equal to select uh use selector select origin then we're gonna grab it here so first we need to also define the type for our that is state so it will be as a type dot ts so in that type we will provide the type declaration here for all of our parameter like the over state so i'm gonna just uh, grab it here so what kind of type we have so let's just uh, get explore a bit 
we're having Uber is the type which the name of Uber that we have the origin and in that origin we have location let it be numbered length which will be numbered and we have a descri description of a string and we have the distance we have the destination we have the travel time information so that's all the information you're gonna grab it from here so now we need to import that here so for that state okay from the type so now we can directly inject so our every other parameters like all the things it will be working perfectly so our slices is ready so as soon as we did the slices we need to connect it within our store right how we can connect that so first let's go back in the store and here we need to import first so import uber reducer from we need to uh, oops it will be okay okay no i don't allow okay we need to just passing that from the over slices and in that object first we need to provide the name and after that it will be that over reducer hit save so now we will be able to see the things clearly in our picture so i'm gonna just shuffle my terminal here as soon as we're gonna grab the details and other parameters so let's go in the search bar so in that search bar here we're gonna now go and grab that like whatever the value we are going to pass it here so as you see we are passing all other respected parameter now we're going to create an on press event here on press which is going to be directly a passing and function here we're going to get the data and we're going to also get the details by default which we're going to make it null because if we have the previous data we should ignore that so that's why we need to make it as now so now if we just simply make a log and just to see what kind of things we are uh, like retrieving there let's just see that what kind of data we are passing here if we just select any of the location click and you see that's the description data we have the description so now if we click on that data and then on that that as we are setting the type script it will just working perfectly fine so now we can see the description i think if we click any of another location as you see the description apple jaron so the netherlands we are passing the description and also for that details parameter we can also see that details if we go back and see the details here it will be available too if we click right now and let's type london okay see a lot of details here so from here we can set several parameters but what we're gonna get we're gonna get our location we're gonna get our description as we need to set our origin so first we're gonna use that dispatch and it will be coming from that use dispatch and we're gonna dispatch two event here first event it going to be dispatch and from here we're gonna make that our set origin and as soon as we did that within that function we're gonna pass that as an object we're gonna pass that first as the location location and in that location it will be details dot and then it will be geometry dot location so that will be the first one then we want to set the not the describe it will be description and in the description it will be data dot descriptions so after passing that uh okay redux context value please ensure the components is wrapped with the provider as you see we did everything we set our redux parameter but we didn't inject it within our layout so we need to inject it how we can do it so as if you are familiar with my build here previously if you just saw one of my video as you liked uh, how we did it is to just creating a layout then injecting in that instances to other layout so the same thing we can do it here we can also provide in that layout here as you see directly we can inject here but it's not a good practice because we have our stack parameter we have our theme provider without injecting here directly on that instances what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a uh, create a separate layout okay layout dot tsx rnfe so now in that layout we're gonna wrap everything properly so how we can wrap that i'm gonna remove that all first i'm gonna grab that our provider from react redux and i'm gonna wrap all the chill uh, oops it will be 
the all the children going to be wrapping here and in that provider we're going to pass that our store as the store we are creating so that's the way we can set that so let's just grab it all so now in that particular instances what we are using we are setting the provider and we are passing the children as a react node then we are passing also that keyboard avoiding view like once you are typing on something if your keyboard is capturing like uh, your uh, like what you can say your uh, text input is the lower level of the screen like in bottom here but once you are going to type it will overlap your type like the keyboard so i'm gonna pushing everything our in all app instances that will avoid that view okay so now as soon as we have that now there is a two layout one is for the tab don't inject in the tab it will be in our root layout right so in that particular layout what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut all uh where is my layout so don't inject it here i'm gonna inject it this parameter so here it will be implemented so once we're gonna just cut all parameter from here and then we're gonna pass our layout done as soon as we did that as you see the error has gone and our application is in place okay so now we did a two parameter one is that two creating like dispatching one application here for set origin we are setting and after that also we're gonna make that dispatch and in that dispatch set description uh, like the set destination should be now why like whenever you are selecting a new like you went back to application is you select one first parameter then you roll back coming in the home screen again then you are choosing again one origin every time you select the origin we're gonna make the destination as an empty so the destination you need to set it to in separate screen we're gonna provide that only there you can set so let's just check if it's working or not so it will be cost origin equal to should be use selector remember if we just roll back in our over slices as you see select origin should be the select origin so we can now grab that select origin here and we can just pass that log to set our origin if it's working or not see right now the origin is now so if we just hit to that usa and we grab and click any of that address here as you see description usa location we're gonna get let and we're gonna also get that log parameter so now we are having this view so now dynamically whenever we are going to be our application there we can now fetch this parameter and grab that information to show it in the map so also we are not using that i think we're using ah, okay so i think our this parameter is finished we set our store we finish our search bar now we need to provide our nav options by which we can click and then go back directly in our map screen so to get that one again i'm going to create another file here which is going to be nav options tsx rnav and let's just import it directly here should be you see it just over there with that let's just roll back to the nav options here now we need to start working on that so in that nav options we're gonna have two values right so to first define that value here as you see we have one constant folder so in that constants i'm going to provide one index.ts so here i'm going to pass some kind of data here so what i'm gonna do is to dealing whatever the static data i'm gonna provide okay so i'm gonna grab that data and then i'm gonna paste it here so now as you see what we did we are having two images from that asset in that asset you can download it here also i'm gonna provide the 
description in the link in the description in that assets we have two cars here so in that index.ts we are just and passing on that as you see there is an error of that cannot find module so now whenever you are going to using that static images like the in your application here especially in that react native you need to declare your file parameter okay so how you can do that you need to just create a simple file here called the declaration file so it will be declaration so declaration declaration.d.ts so that files will be responsible for that and now here you can declare like i will declare the module or uh, i can just grab that module here directly okay so i will just declare two module here one will be for dot png so it will be just giving a value of any then we are exporting that value in the same way that wbp so now I'm passing it any because I know what kind of things I'm gonna do that here. So if you are having any problem, ah, okay, you see my Google Maps API key again. So the config is open. Don't worry, I'm gonna change it again. <laughs> okay, so now here I need to save it so that data I'm gonna let it work on that. So how we can use that? So to use that, we can just exporting that one particularly here from that as you see now if you're familiar with my build previously it will be know how we are dealing with that okay so now we have that now also i'm having that suggestions data here so now in that suggestion data as you see the image parameter i'm now grabbing that image so this image is applicable here that will be for the suggestion that will be for our nav data so for that both instances we are working and dealing it separately and now let's just go with the nav options what kind of things we are passing there so instead of that view i'm going to just generate a simple plot list also need to import from that react native and here i need to pass the data so the data it will be our nav data which we are going to provide okay and now after that we need to pass also one key extractor which gonna extract the key so we know we have the item and uh, and if you just look back the item, that item.id is, is the unique ID. If you just simply go in our nav data, as you see, that ID is separate. Also, you can use the title in the same way. So no worries about that. Okay, right now, we are having the ID. So we are need to passing that render item. What kind of item we are going to dealing here. So I'm going to pass my enter item here. And then... I'm going to declare my function and I'm going to inline return on here. So first thing first, I'm going to just generate one view. And within that view, I'm going to create another view within that instances. And here, I'm going to grab my image. Okay, so image and just import it. And here on that source, it will be that item dot image. So now I'm not passing the URI because my image is static right now. So no need to pass any of the URI parameter and also for this style. Now you can also provide a custom style here. Like I want to provide a width of 120. Okay. And the height of 120. And also I'm going to provide that resize mode, which is going to be as something. It's safe. As you see, after saving, I'm now viewing my data portion here. But I want it from right, like left to right, okay, like horizontal parameter. So I need to also interject here. I'm going to just pass it horizontal, hit save. As you see, the horizontal data layer is I can view it right now. So first thing first, in that view, let's put some style here. So style and also need to import the TW. Import TW from okay and then tw using the back tick Oops. and then i'm gonna make a margin top of three so it will be a little bit lower case there and padding left for six so it will be like a bit of shifting way and after that give a padding of four and then bj of gray of 200 and as you see, the Tello IntelliSense is not working here perfectly. Need to configure it. If you can just search in the Google and if you can set it, okay, fine. If you cannot set it, let me know in the comments. I'll help you out. And again, if you're feeling that video is teaching you something new, maybe you will find similar videos in the way. But what I'm trying is to explain you in a further way so that you can easily implement that one. If you're looking that it's working with you fine perfect, then 
just hit the like button and also subscribe the channel and buy me a coffee if you're feeling free okay so right now also i'm gonna make a margin right of four and then round it it should be that lg and i'm gonna pass in a border and border of gray off to hunt it actually if we are passing the 200 i think we can pass it's 400 so we can have a border How about 300 cool okay so now we are passing that view and after that we also need to work with the sort of other things so after that image we're gonna and this view it, it will work because we need to show like whenever it will be clickable or not clickable visible or not visible we're gonna sit within that particular design parameter we're gonna come in and later on so now i'm gonna provide a text so in that text uh what you can say we can just wrap that item dot title it's save you see the title is available right now and then we're gonna pass another link tag and from the expo router that link to be generated here and that link we will pass one tab bar icon remember we are having that icon previously we use it so we can also use it directly here and on that particular icon uh i'm gonna note uh because instead of using directly in here i'm gonna take a view here okay so on the tab or icon need to pass the name and that name should be arrow forward and also provide the size size will be 18 and the color should be color should be let's just put a white color okay and the link the href should be going to generate in the map right now we are not having a map screen but what we're gonna do is to create one map screen and we are not going to create in the tab we're gonna create in our root so it will be map.tsx rnfe it will be our map screen okay like that and instead of view we're gonna pass that our container okay it's safe. okay so right now here uh we have if we uh just put it on that way as you see as in the type script we can see our screen available here okay cool it's safe but as you see the icon is available here so we're gonna make that icon a design a bit so how we can do that uh we will make that style and then okay so on here uh, i'm gonna just make a padding of two and bj of black as you see okay looks cool and round it of full and then width it will be 10 height also going to be 10 so that it will be in exact proportion and that item should be center justify should be center to keep everything in center align and also for this purposes in this style i'm gonna just giving a i think i'm gonna provide a padding top maybe i think that will be fine yeah, margin top of padding okay cool so you can provide more if you want but i think that's going to save the purpose so now in that text also let's provide some style here so tw style and then uh should be margin top should be two a little bit lower side and then text uh should be lg and then font should be semi bones and instead of uh empty i think we can also pass that padding y so if we pass the padding y here we no need to pass that style because it gonna give that special room for that so if we click on that get it right as you see we are passing in the map screen our default we are passing in the map screen so now we need to get a different combination here and what kind of combination we need to get our origin data okay const origin is equal to your selector selector it will be select origin okay. 
Okay. So here, we're going to pass a condition. This is a simple condition, and it will change the scenario a bit. And how we can do that? We're going to first style on that, and then TW, and we're going to write a condition here. What kind of condition? If we have origin, then we're going to pass a sort of a style. And if there is no origin, we're going to pass a sort of style. So if we have the origin, like we will make it clickable. So we're going to make it opacity of 100. If there is no origin, the opacity, it will be as 20. It's safe. Okay, right now, I think we are having origin. I'm going to just reload again. So it will not be there. As soon as I did, as you see the opacity, but still I can click it. Even I don't have that origin, I can click that parameter which should not be able to click. So in that here, I'm going to make it as uh, in that link parameter. I'm going to make it as disabled. And when it will be disabled, if we don't have origin, I'm going to make it as disabled. So now, even we click, it will not pass in here. And if we just make on that instances, and as you see, now it's clickable. If we click, it's passing to our map screen. So with that parameter, we are having that to set up. And after that, we need to also going to grab our suggestions parameter. And to create the suggestions, we will simply do again another components, which will be suggestions.tsx rmfe and now just import that suggestions here suggestions and on the suggestions we will do the similar setup command b to hide the terminal uh, so the left panel so here in that view we're gonna make a certain sort of things first we're gonna put another view Okay, here I'm going to define two text. Okay, so as you see, that's the similar function as the same setup. So I'm going to grab it here. And also I need to import that TW, import TW from. Okay, and also I need to grab my link here. Okay, now what we are doing here right now is that we are passing a text called suggestions and then also passing that CO. Whenever you're going to click on CO, it will take us to our services screen. If you click, as you see, we are coming here in the services screen. So now here in that particular view, what we're going to do? If we just make that, we're going to pass also a style here, and TW, and it should be margin top of Let's just give it three of margin and also in that particular view, let's put a style here. And it's kind of difficult to type the style, you know, it's there is we don't have so much uh, flexibility once we are creating on the native applications. And here also item should be center and justify should be between. Okay, cool. And after that, after that particular view, we need to also grab a flat list. Flat list. And we need to import it. And be careful because all the import which I'm doing for the flat list touchable opposite view text, I'm taking it from the React Native. If you're using for any other component like the gesture and others, you need to configure that parameter so you will get an initial error. So don't do it. Be careful once you're having that error. Look back in the top to just see what kind of import you are doing and how you are dealing with that import parameter. Now for that data, we will just provide that suggestions data and where we are having the data. If you go in our index, we have the suggestions data having ID, title, image, and screen. Now right now, I'm all, everything I'm heading to the map, you can just, we can do it that in a conditional way. So now, let's just put that, uh, I'm going to make that key structure, not directly in the key, key extractor which is going to be item and here item dot id and then i'm going to pass in my render item uh okay and in that render item i will just react destructure the item here directly and in line return okay so what i'm going to return is a touchable of city going to import from that react native Okay, in that upper city, I'm going to pass simply an image, so which is going to be getting that native image. 
and now as these things is going to be as an uri so we need to pass in the source level we need to pass an uri and then we need to head that item dot image hit save right now we'll not see any of the images because we need to define the color so let's provide this style and here we can now justify the style so width going to be uh, 16 and height going to be 16 and margin bottom should be 3 hit save as you see now we can see our images and also that we're gonna pass the resize mode so resize mode going to be contain okay done and as you see this is coming with that uh, i think uh we need to make it also horizontal so the horizontal okay cool and for the touchable opacity after the opacity also we're gonna have one particular instances here which going to be a text and then this text going to be item dot title okay so now let's just style on a bit so style and going to be that style we're gonna put a padding of five we're gonna put a put a border border of gray of 300 okay see that looks cool and also we're gonna make margin top of three just to put a little bit lower and margin right should be three and round it i'm gonna put a large round it and you see now okay working and you see that horizontal indicator we need to also make it false so we're gonna make that show horizontal not that show horizontal scroll indicator should be should be false so now if i press it okay it's not giving any indicator see all okay going to our services click on that uh, it will sh it should be taking to our map but we didn't pass it yet how we can do that right now we are using only that link parameter also we can use that navigation const navigation equal to use navigation should be expo router and here in the touchable opacity we can pass that on base event here okay so we can make that navigation dot navigate and now we can define where we want to navigate so let's just put in the map and i think that is not working okay fine navigation dot mm, okay navigate should work yeah should work map i think yeah that's the problem or we'll see what kind of problem we're facing click yeah it's taking but we need to define the type parameter you see if we just roll back here what is mentioning here uh okay stream is not enable the parameter the never uh never give the following error okay what kind of thing is that map okay we're gonna fix that error lateral but that's not minor just a type script error but it will working just fine so we have our suggestions now it's the time to whenever we are going back to our map screen now we need to create the map screen in a more much better fashion how we can do that and for that map screen if we just roll back to our map and here as you see this header is coming which you don't want how we can ignite that to do that uh as you see in that particular layer okay we will go in our layout and here from here we're gonna inject that we will make that as a stack dot screen and here we're gonna pass that name of the screen which is map and then we're gonna pass that options here and we're gonna say header shown should be false as you see now we are having no header and also in that container we want to keep it as an overall layer so let's just put a class name and the padding should be zero so it will inject overall container there okay so now it's time to generate our map portion so we can go and grab the map scenario here we need to pass that so in that map we 
we're going to have particularly two segments. What kind of segment is that? First, we're going to have two view should be available there. So one view, it will be just passing that value and another, it should be passing another. So what we're going to do is to create a view and then create another view. So here, we're going to pass the style and the height going to be one by two. Okay, let's import that. Okay, so that will be one view, and I'm gonna just copy this. This will be another view. Okay, if I just make that BJ rate of 300, you see that how that's one white plus that. So we're gonna now create our view proportion here. So this here right now, we're gonna get our map view so means our map portion going to be coming here so you're going to take a component should be map what you can say map content dot tsx so here we're going to pass our map Set. so now we will show our map right here for the map content, we can now passing the map details here. So in that map content, what we need to do is to create one separate instances by which we can get the map view. So right now, we doesn't have the map view. To grab the map view here, let's scroll back over there. And particularly here, we need to call that map instances. So we will just search for it. It will be React Native and then Maps Direction. Okay, maps direction. So that's the package we are going to use. And how this package is going to work, you can have a little bit of description here and we're gonna discuss about it first. I'm gonna just import it. Okay, paste and import. I think I need to make any lower a bit so we can see it properly. Yeah, it's importing. So now after imported, how it will work. So let's just go and a description here. Now I do see we need to import this segment here that import map view direction or you can as you see that map view parameters also. So let's just import in here. It's going to give us that map view direction. So that's the map view direction we can use and also we will use that maps view. Okay. So this one, so one is for the map direction, which is going to be showcasing our direction, this lining parameter. And another, it should be that React native, and that will be our maps. Okay. So that will generate our initial map pattern, the map which I have been showing you before. So let's copy that and paste it here to import so that map going to generate our entire map portion okay so how we can use it we can just need to copy this portion here or instead having that view i'm gonna just leave it here like that and also need to import that map view hit save and after hitting, hitting save you see we see nothing right now is because we need to pass a style parameter so style and here we will Use that TW. Um, okay. And here, let's put flex one. Just passing all the properties here, as you see. Now, that's the dummy style which we are giving here, dummy length, not sorry, the dummy region we are passing. So here, we're going to pass our own reason. Okay. So, how we can just pass our own direction here? So, that's the setup which we need to combine here. So for that, and also what I'm going to do is here. So this one, we're going to also pass one parameter, just generate one text to just combine something. So it will be just other content. It's a, okay, we can now see that something is there. So for initial reasoning here, and also for the suggestions, you can combine that, like putting a type of the tourist stack program list, map undefined services undefined. So here only we have the map. I'm just going to remove that we have no other so just passing that uh you can pass interface also no worries so passing the type as the navigation prop and we are passing that navigation param list so that will be the map and we are just passing the navigation so he knows what kind of navigation param we have if we just come here and now if we just 
make that as you see it now can interface what kind of maps and other parameter we have i'm just keeping it in the same file because we are not going to use another screen overall here so that i'm not gonna use uh like need no need to use it globally if you're recreating any of this screen and using that uh for the navigation params please do for keep that for the time set okay okay now in the map we are having in that map content so let's just work here perfectly so now we need to define our own parameter but before going that we will also access some of that parameter which going to give us more flexibility in our map uh, the map type which will be muted is standard and enabled scroll enabled and zoom enabled and pitch enabled rotate enabled and scroll during rotate or zoom enabled and initial then this one once you are like using that real devices that is giving you much more flexibility you can rotate it you can zoom it zoom out pinch it and so you can do it so more things like a real mapping configuration when you are using the google map so that's the one which you give that more easy solution if you tap it you see it's now uh, going on that you will not get so many uh feature on that simulator but once you're using the real phone you're gonna get that key and you know that you can just uh scroll uh like you can scan that qr code to running it in your local machine like in your phone or other so now as you see we are having that now we need to get our origin data const origin is equal to use selector and here we can just get that set origin so now we instead of passing that dummy value what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pass our own value which is going to be the latitude going to be origin location let uh did we miss something why we are passing an error uh not set origin should be select select origin yeah that's that's why the error is popping up as you see uh if you just go back to our select origin that's the one which we have been passing okay so now we can will be able to get our actual location so let's just go in the backward and then we're gonna type again so instead of typing that let's make that touch of liberty okay get it right you see so now we are getting that liberty here but now also we need to pass that like that pin okay the marker we need to set but right now we're not having a marker so instead of that and a self-closing tag i'm gonna make it like a simple tag view so we can pass separate condition okay map view okay i think yeah that should be a closing tag so now in that map view terminal what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pass a condition so if we have origin and in that origin if we have the location and and then we set our like we can make our marker okay and that will also be imported from uh, react um i think that react maps react native maps and we're gonna pass that coordinate so the coordination should be also passing with an object and the latitude going to be providing that that is your should be the origin dot location dot that and for that longitude which is going to be generated also in the similar fashion will be longitude and we are passing that longitude with that origin dot location dot lng done you see that's a marker right now here and in that marker we can also define we can pass that title so in the title we'll pass that origin so it started with there and then we're going to pass the description the description should be the description which we have that origin dot uh, description and then we're going to provide that identifier and that identifier it's going to be hit back from that origin like original destination like from where we started and you see origin statue of liberty we are giving the description the description which we have so now right now we are dealing with that portion so once we are done on that we also need to pass one navigation card which is going to be entertained right now here okay so let's just create another components which is going to be uh, navigate 
Dot.tsx, uh, no, tex. This is my bad. Should be tsx rnfv. Okay, so in that map here, we're gonna get that navigate card. So it will be navigate save. So here I'm gonna inject that navigate card. For right now, I'm gonna close the map of the other. So in that navigate card, we need to combine so many other parameter. What kind of parameter? We're gonna get a state here. Should be const, and here it will be show rider set show rider, and we're gonna use that use state hook. And by default, it's going to be false. Now we're gonna pass a condition here, and we're gonna get our container here as we need to pass that padding container. And in that container, we're gonna pass a condition. If we have that show writer, okay, then we're gonna pass that one a different value. So we're gonna pass a view here, and we're gonna pass a text here. It will be writer card, okay. So if the value is there, it will be writer card. And if it's not, the value is not available, then we can just within an empty template, we're going to pass that one text. And we're going to say, owning or we're going to just pass a message, hello John, it's safe. As you see, hello John is available. If we just make it as true, you see, the writer card is available. You can set up with also that skin navigation, but I love it in that way. No need to just generate one stack navigation here. It depends on you how you like. You just simply add it in that same proportion. So for the style, it will be that one. And for this text, for this style, and here, I'm going to generate on that like text should be center padding y should be five just to keep in that giving a room text should be axle and font should be semi both okay hello john and i think the padding y portion is not needing because yeah that looks quite a bit of money so now as soon as we did that we also need to combine some of the other parameter because right now we also need to generate our map here so it will be view and within that view i'm gonna get another view and here or no, no need that separate view i'm gonna just grab that google place autocomplete so that's the one i'm gonna use here right now so first thing first we need to combine our style remember and where we use that style if we just go in our search component so it will be search bar and as you see, we use that same things here, okay? So we can just copy it. And here, we can simply paste it. And need to grab that, oops, not that create. We need to grab the style sheet here. Okay, so right now, first we're gonna pass that styles, which going to be our, uh, our like that input box styles. And after that, the placeholder also need to be going there, placeholder. And we're going to pass that where to. So where, uh, like we have the origin, now we need to set where we are heading, right? Now after that, also we need to make that as face details, which is going to be as true. And then we're going to pass that our query. So within, if you are not passing that query, you will not be able to get the data. So first parameter should be able to provide the key and our key should be Google Maps key. And then also the language you need to pass and the language should be English. As you see, that is here. And if you click something, okay, you can now select that destination. So we have one destination, which is for origin. And now we can set another destination, which we are going to be our set destination where we are heading back. So right now to implement that one here, I'm going to just uh, just grab that other properties, which is going to be that query and 
uh, what you call that after the query also we are passing that min length and then the similar fashion the same properties which we have been talking about there the same thing okay so now what we can do we can also create a dispatch here okay remember we have that dispatch function which we creating so now if we just copy that it will also you can copy and move here to let it work but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make that calls dispatch going to be use dispatch so now let's just hit make an on press event here on press and here i'm gonna uh, grab that data and the same fashion details going to be null and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a dispatch event and in that dispatch i'm gonna make that set destination okay so previously we set our origin now we are going to set our destination and that location which is there we are going to set our initial location so that location it should be coming that mm, what you can say set a uh, destination and location should be details dot geometry dot location and also for description going to be not describe description going to be data dot description and after dealing with that once we are passing our data we can make set show writer as false okay so whenever we're gonna click this one i'm gonna uh, like just comment right now we're gonna just make it later right now we want to see it so now we have our data so as soon as we're gonna click it we're gonna get the data here right but after we're gonna grabbing that data we need to show it somewhere okay so how we can show that data so let's go in the map content here as we are having that origin also we need to have our to get our destination here so let's just go and grab that so it will be destination should be equal to use selector and here select destination so now we can pass the overall parameter how we can grab and uh, make that calculation here so for we're gonna just passing a single condition here i'm gonna make it a bit uh, or i can hide it so we have origin location and in the top we are also finding a calculation here what i'm gonna do is that if we have the origin and then if we have our destination then we're gonna render something what you're gonna render it will be map view and we're gonna pass that map view direction okay so in the direction we're gonna pass uh like for the origin from where we started the origin it will be our origin dot description right and for that destination it will be destination dot description so that's the two parameter we have and for the api key we're gonna also provide our google api google maps api key otherwise it will cannot fetch that and the stroke weight like the stroke sizes we're going to define like giving provided three and that stroke color also going to provide black it's it so right now we have one destination i'm going to just go back here because uh my net connection is not much stable so i'm going to just go in a simple way just go in a london which is highlighting very much very easy way so i'm going to go london uk okay hit save okay providing that and now london i'm gonna go in that bridge okay as you see this is my origin and now if i just go in directly here okay let's see my destination okay it will be very simple once you are so destination is there but we don't have any mark right now so also we need to pass a marker here whenever we have that our destination location we will also provide a marker so after the origin i'm going to pass that marker parameter here as you see so now this marker going to destination donor bridge london uk so now we are having that 
and also there is an effect you can use for that zooming collaboration and other parameters but it will all it will just give it effect in that real device not in the simulator so i'm gonna pass that reference first it will be uh map ref which going to be using that use reference so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna combine that our map portion here so let's put a reference so will be that map ref okay so in that map ref i can just define one combination here so what i'm gonna do is that defining that is effect hook okay let's just say that mm -hmm. we need to also provide that the type which is going to be map view type and if the map view type is available should be there otherwise it should be not okay. so now oh, okay it's working okay zooming effect is just happening so what we're doing if there is a use effect in the location and also the station is available it just return if it's not available having return and if it's available we are just putting that map rev dot current dot a fill to supplied markers we are just passing that markers to zooming in there in that h padding and also passing an animated value so if i just go back here and choose a separate destination right now just put that what do you call that you see okay we'll pass that washington dc so that's the dc here and then we we'll also make that liberty island so let's go in that liberty stack park okay yeah that effect is working right now previously it was not working i was thinking maybe it will not work but right now you can see the destination is working perfectly okay that's cool that's cool so that's really surprised me. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's just stacking. It depends on your simulator charisma. Okay, so now we have that. So there is one more thing which we need to find is that to get our travel time. Okay, so how we can get the travel time? How much time it's going to be taking once we are traveling? So that's the one we need to uh, like manipulate right now to capture the data and all the details. So how we can do that? To do that particularly, uh, we will go and grab another use effect contained here. So first thing, uh, I think yeah, we can we can pass that. Okay. So first we're gonna make that use effect hook again. One more use effect. Okay. And for the dependency, we are going to pass that value. The dependency, we're going to pass that origin on the dependency. We're going to pass the destination in the dependency. And also, we're going to pass the dependency of that Google Maps API key. Once the key is changed, that dependency going to... I think that's not requiring the dependency. So here, I'm going to write a function. So first thing first, if I'm going to just pull a loophole condition, if we have no origin, okay? And or or also will provide the combination. We have no and also no destination. Okay. Then if there is nothing like that, this return. We don't want to do anything. Okay. Only we will work if this two is available. So get travel time, which is going to be an assign function sync. So then and after that, we're going to return that function. We're going to make a try catch block. So in that catch block, we're going to make that log here just to see. And it will say in our paging travel time data. And here we're going to just grab our error. Now, once we having that, we also going to generate or grab one response from there which are going to be we are going to hit back to fetch the data from https maps google apis.com we are passing and grabbing that origin dot destination and origin dot description so that's the uh, sorry origin dot description and destination dot description you can do it in that way and also you can prefer to use it using that because we have both data in our local uh, in our store we can also grab that from store but it's better in that way so we're gonna pass that const data should be await 
and that would be response.json and now in the log let's see what we're gonna have within our data let's just type a bit of bigger hit save and as we are going to pass that data we're gonna have that so let's remove that and make that um, what do you call that new york we're gonna sit on that new york okay but we are not having any of the data pull back here why uh, i think we messed up something ah, okay we messed up because we need to pass that function here we need to call that invoke that function otherwise it will not work as you see now the destination address we got the address we get the other parameters later on once you're going to grab it we're going to show it how you can actually utilize that one so instead of that console log what i'm going to do i'm going to pass it i'm going to uh, like the dispatch it within our parameter so that we can use it so let's just grab our dispatch dispatch is equal to use dispatch okay so in the dispatcher we're gonna find in a solution so it will be dispatch and it will be set travel time information and in that travel time information we're gonna pass that data dot we're gonna pass that first rows of data so it will be the first index and we're gonna pass that elements uh, I think it will be elements and also for the first row of the elements and what kind of things it's going to return so you can just simply see and make a log here you can just view it what kind of data we are passing there right now save okay we're passing the distance and we're passing the value we're passing the duration which is three hours 49 minutes we're passing the value and status so that's the things we are setting on our set travel type information so whenever we are going to grab the travel type information we are going to have it okay so right now we our all other parameter is done i think it's working perfectly so in that navigate card we after dealing with that proportion that complete proportion we also need to combine another properties so after dealing with that we need to pass that fabric like you can also save your data whatever data your fabric so i'm gonna make that as nav fabrics.tsx okay so now we're gonna pass our fabric data save okay so in the nav fabric we're gonna combine some sort of value here so first we're gonna grab one array then we're gonna just pass our uh data which is going to be giving us a proper value so let's run back to our nav fabric okay so here we're gonna pass in data so that's the data we are going to use also you can combine it just put in that uh, parameter where we used to set our data so in here what i'm gonna do passing a flat list or initially because we know right now what we are going to do in a separate way because we did it before i'm gonna grab my flat list combination here from big native and also for touchable capacity okay and then need to pass the tw Set. so i'm just getting a two set of data which is giving me that home and work so that's my fabric data as you see now i can go and put that combination here to fetch the situation so icon also you can use the icon right now i'm not using the icon that depends on if you can use it if you want so how you can use the icon so that's very simple to use it as you see here we can as you see we have one icon previously we used so it will be tab bar icon so in that tab bar icon you can just simply pass the name and then you can use it okay so right now i'm not going to use it because i'm not going to make it more complex okay so after that snap fabrics also we need to go for it to get another div here so not the div it should be a view and in that view we're going to create a touchable opacity here right now uh, I think we need to import it from react native okay 
in that upper city we will just pass that our tab bar icon and also we're gonna pass that our separate value properties just a simple text here okay in the tab bar icon we are passing that icon properties we are giving an a car icon and we are giving also a text which is going to be so uh, showing us the rights so now we can see it right now it's because we need to provide a style a bit here so it will be style and i'm gonna generate some of this style here uh, okay let me grab that single properties so it will be easy okay done Same. okay so there is a sing single touchable opacity here once you click that instance going to be go from here and it will be implemented our rider button then it will be set show rider of true and also giving a person a button and then the text one will be rights and another it will be for it's okay and thank you very much if you're watching it right now because it's uh that's uh i got uh explore the video from Asani Sanga and that was very nice he described it before two years how to combine that so I'm just doing it a new framework passing it a new value and also using the type script and passing more complex things but he did it in a very plain way but it was marvelous I will just ping the I will just uh, attach the link in the description you can watch the video also how he did it in that that time because this time it was not the expo it was not that much updated so you can go through and also some subscribe his channel he's doing so much cool video i'm just getting excited by watching those things so it's feel free to go and view there uh, just see how it will be explore more on that so in this style i'm gonna pass the tw and here i'm gonna just make it a flex and row and then background color should be white once we do the flex row as you see it's getting side by side and i'm gonna make it justify evenly to just keep it in the middle and then padding y should be 2 and margin top should be auto and i'm gonna provide a border t and also that border t should be gray off 200 okay done so with that parameter we are we just finish that portion okay now after doing that we need to show just use that rider car so how and what we are gonna select that parameter so that's the navigate card i think yeah navigate favorites search none so we will go back again in the navigate card okay so now we need to generate one rider card parameters to show the rider action okay to do that again a single components we need to provide should be rider card dot tsx rider card and we need to import that here and instead of these properties we will just make that rider card done once we have that both destination we can create now we have our rider card so in the rider card what kind of things we are going to have it? let's see so let's go here and in here what we can do is that we can uh like in that after that view we can grab another view the view and here we can pass a text so here we can say select a right okay so now we're gonna put the distance of later on so first we're gonna design the text so it will be style so let's see okay so in that style we're gonna make tw and here we're gonna make that as an x should be center padding y should be 5 and font should be medium text should be lg okay done as it select right and after that also we can just uh grabbing one uh, parameter here as you see so the select right or i think the padding y is not required here okay i think that's cool because as we are using the container here okay so right now uh we uh, can just uh put a sort of things which can be good so after that view uh, so we have the text and then mm, okay cool cool so right now what we can do 
we can also grab a button here by which we can go backwards so if we just make a touchable opacity touchable opacity and here we can grab one button which will be uh, tab bar icon and the name should be left arrow mm, what you can say left arrow or simple left or we can say back no we are not getting any of the icon but right now we'll just grab an icon which we used already uh, i think we used somewhere at the what you can say let's just see if we use any icon yeah we use in that proportion here on if you go back to our home i think we are using it here in that indexed yeah now options we use that icon so we can pass the name from here arrow forward okay yeah that's the one but this time it should not be arrow forward that should be okay cool arrow forward and select the right as you see that's the button but backwards no it's not there okay we'll keep it as arrow forward later we can search the icon so now for the touchable opacity also we can provide this tile and here we can make it absolute from the top it will be six and from the left it will be five okay uh, top from, uh, as we put that I think three enough or I think we can just make at zero at the top so it will be roll back or putting one that will okay yeah so and we can also make rotate 90 oh uh, no not rotating Okay, we will, and from where we can find that icon parameters? For we can just go directly here. We can find, find that React Native Ion Icons. And here we can search that. So we can search for that arrow. And here in that, I believe it will be under of that Ion Icons. So let's see, yeah. So Ion Icons, you see arrow back. Ah, okay not forward or backward should be arrow back I'm gonna put so. okay so arrow okay fine arrow back we got it cool and also we can make that rounded full and bj of gray of 300 okay uh we can also make or i think uh, 300 is more just pass it 200 okay cool and also we can pass a padding padding of two just giving a room here and for that icon uh size we're gonna pass a size of 10 make it smaller ah, 10 is too much smaller 15 okay we pass it 20 and instead of two we can just pass a two. so once we click on that we're gonna pass an event so on press uh we are going to make one instance here see in the navigate card we have our show rider so here we're gonna pass that set show rider and we will just grab that value directly here okay and we're gonna pass it here okay so we're gonna just make that as false and right now as we know the value we're going to just put it any right now just to remove any of the confusion if we click okay it's not working on press set so rider should be false but okay as we make it as absolute we can also make a giving providing a z index so that it will be clickable okay what is saying set show rider is not a function is undefined set show rider okay why is not a function it's supposed to be a function ah, okay we need to save that go back click go back click okay cool so now we need to pass our value here 
and how we can pass the value we need to grab the parameters so how we can uh, like provide the data or other properties so what i'm going to do is that to create one uh, fundamental parameter so it should be providing a rider option here so i'm going to grab that here in the top so right now uh, also i need to import that image so the over rags and for the over excel and for the over okay so now what we are dealing going to do with that we're going to pass an overrider option which is going to be id title multiplayer and image so whenever we click it will provide our actual separation so the destination and other properties we're going to capture from there so now to generate that particular instances we're going to grab a flat list flat list going to import from react native and for the data layer we're going to pass the data which we are declared at the top and key extractor a similar way we're going to provide that item which is going to be item dot id and after that we're going to pass that our render item okay and render item which going to be we're going to pass that item and then we're going to just return a touchable opacity and within the opacity we're going to first return one image okay and that image source property which will be item dot image as we are not using that uh, uri so you can directly inject that parameter here and after that also we need to pass some style to get that so we're going to pass this style and now we can pass that width going to be uh, 100 and the height also going to be 100 and precise mode going to be let's say it should be contain it's safe as you see now we have three car and we can now put other value so what we're going to do is that is to put that particular parameter in a very raw fashion so first thing first i'm going to provide some of the like after that we're going to generate one more view like after the image it will just take one more view here and in the view it's going to go to the text and on the text we're going to pass that title it should be item dot title okay over x over axel over max so now to keep that in a good fashionable way let's just go in the touchable opacity pass in style here and tw we're gonna just pass that style so flex justify between item center padding x10 so after these properties so this the text then we're gonna get another text so here it will just get the travel time okay and that the travel time so it's safe so this is the travel time and after that we will also provide within the travel time that our actual timing should be there right so as we finish that after this div we're gonna also make another uh, text should be there and there we're gonna pass the price for right now we're gonna just put that $100 Okay, so that's the two value simultaneously going to inject. So now for that particular view, so let's put this style. TW should be margin minus margin left should be six. Okay, should be ML. Okay, so now let's style and define the parameter for that a title text will be style. W and then the text should be Excel and font should be semi bolts. Okay, good. And for the travel time, we also need to generate the travel time and how we can generate. Remember, we have our travel time already predefined. So how we can grab that? So first we're gonna make that a const as we're gonna grab a two separate value. So first is that we're gonna grab that here so first we need to grab that use stand hook and then also we need to grab that selector so it should be selector and we're gonna pass our travel time information so right now in selected is it just a null value so with the rider option in the travel time information which is going to be the select travel time information right now the distance no distance value should be zero that's the initial value but we're gonna go and match the calculation 
and also we're gonna make a change rate so charge rate we're gonna provide so it will be like charge rate okay and for right now the charge rate i'm gonna pass at 1.2 okay 1.2 per mile hour so it's safe and also we use the navigation so const i think it will be navigation should be coming from that use navigation. okay so that's the two parameter so right now we're gonna pass that combination here to calculate and grab the other value so for the travel time information as you see uh, we have that travel time and here we can pass our value so that should be travel time information dot we're gonna pass our duration so that will be the duration okay what is saying uh travel time information dot duration let's see oops text gave following error okay so we are not setting that yet so we need to set that mm, should be there but why we are passing that error here mm, okay i'm gonna roll back i'm gonna just see what's happening here it's debugging on a bit okay select the right so why we cannot see the travel time information uh we have the travel time okay then we are setting our travel time information mm, we are passing the use selector value and and Okay, instead of, uh, I think, mm, for right now, okay, let's just select one more value. So it will be uh, like that. Park Avenue, City, USA. Okay, cool. Put it right. So now I'm just going to see why it's not working. So select it right and then we're going to grab our other information which going to be the information of travel information dot distance dot text it's it okay yeah two, 230 mile distance okay okay now we are grabbing it okay because previously it was not set yet so that was having the problem okay right now as we have the travel time information also now is a title which we are providing in the travel time we can now provide the travel time duration here okay so it will be a travel time information dot duration dot text okay as you see three hours 59 minutes travel time so now we are getting it okay so instead of uh, passing that value uh, in a more complex way if we just go back not putting that ml okay cool yeah not bad so i think i'm not going to use that padding x portion as i have very small proportion of space okay now cool so now also i need to pass the duration mark so how much the value it will be charging amount okay so to get that we're going to just you can also put it in the top if it's depend on that new international okay the international number dot number format we're gonna use and from there we can use that en and which is going to be us parameter mark and here on that object we're gonna define that first we're gonna define that style okay are we doing any good things here uh okay that's the, that's what's the problem we're gonna put that comma and right now should be style and style should be as currency and then we're going to define the currency that currency going to be u as d okay and after that we also need to like after having passing here we need to pass that format value here so in that format we will pass that travel time information dot duration dot value and we're gonna make that value with the multiplayer so it will be in two uh, so let's just grab that N2 and now we're going to pass that our charge rate and then we also make into with that our uh, I think the item dot multiplayer so multiplayer and after that we're going to divide it 
with one hundred. Okay, so if we go back right now and with the rights, as you see, hundred seventy two, and if we go in that over Excel, it's giving the price. If we go in the over Lux, it's giving the price because we are having the multiplier here. If it's the small curve, one, one point two, one point seven five. So with that multiplier, it's just providing that calculation. So now also we need to provide uh one more. Uh, sorry it's here okay so that's the multiplayer which we are dealing with so now once we are clicking on any of that particular segment we will need to make that one as selected okay so that we can now put a design here so it will be on press and here we're gonna make set selected and we're gonna pass that as item and also we're gonna provide a combination here so now we're gonna pass a condition what we can say if the item dot id so this is equal to uh, what we can mention here is equal to selected uh, not that one selected dot id and then we're gonna provide something after that we're gonna provide something so if it's with that value so it will be just simple we're going to provide that background color should be white or you can keep it transparent if it's selected then we provide that vj of what you can say gray of oh i think 200 it will be fine okay if you click you see selected 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 so now we can uh, provide some of the design here so what i'm going to say is that margin top should be three oh empty is not working okay why Mm, okay i think we can provide mb4 here okay also not working mb4 no as we are dealing with some of that okay what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna ah okay 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 yeah where i'm typing i'm not typing in that context i think what's wrong with me Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just make that empty 3. Okay, and also padding X is going to be 2. Cool, as you see, selected. So now, as we did that, I need to have a button here to just go and combine the other properties. And to deal with that, I think mm, padding X and other properties, okay, quite good, not bad. So after having that flat list, we should have a button. And here, I'm going to just render that button because it's just a simple button properties. So here, okay, done. So uh, navigation should be there. Okay, so that's the button. As you see, you can just scroll through it. Okay, quite good. And also, we're going to make that effect here which is going to be, uh, I think, show vertical indicator, which we need to make it as false. As you see, you can select and you can choose. So now let's just go with the combination here. First of all, uh, let's roll back here and come again. As you see, what we did here, we create a simple touchable opacity button here and we keep it at the bottom. As you see now, we can have a very good, uh, good uh, smooth scroll uh, animation here. Like not the scroll effect here, once you just go through, it will not hide over there. So now once you click any selected value, it will give you that combination. I think also we can uh, maintain here uh, what we did is MT3, that's the margin top okay yeah that's giving a little bit more uh, congested value so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna provide that from there b2 okay now it's cool okay if i have any selected value if it doesn't have any selected value it's not providing if we have you can choose and go so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna just recap all the things which we just now we have been created i'm gonna hit a reload so it will be set up everything from the beginning so right now we have one empty screen like we didn't select any of that destination here like no origin is selected so it's just empty we cannot click we cannot go anywhere 
So in our destination, we want to go in that uh, like uh, Eiffel Tower. Okay, so we'll just go in that Paris. Okay, so in the Paris, or we can go in the Paris, France. Okay, we will go in the airport. Click. So now it's providing our destination. I think for the map, it's better to pass any of the USA or UK. That's giving a good map view. So I'll go in that uh, Washington DC. Yeah, from that Washington DC, I'm gonna get it right here. And from there, I want to go in that like Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Okay. So now, as you see, I got the destination mark here. So let's get the rights. Okay, it's 223 uh, mile long. So I have, if I select an over X, it will take 157. If it's over axle, okay. Now, as you see, it's very simple way and you can pinch it to just see your right uh, description and other parameter. Or you can go with the country to country. Like if I want to go with that USA and from USA, I want to take a ride to Germany. Okay, so hit the right of, again that's the red mark is really annoying me so i think i'm gonna get get that mm, new york okay so from the new york i will travel somewhere let's put that as germany okay so germany as you see the distance <laughs> is possible with Uber because it cannot map direction error so that's the things you cannot go with that because there is the limited amount of direction or calculation you can provide so I'm going to go with that uh, USA okay and here I'm going to go with that Washington okay now it can calculate the distance <laughs> okay don't worry about it you cannot just go travel in that because nowadays that uh, uh, google is getting more much uh, ai powerful so it's not you are not getting a mambo jumbo if there is no road how you can travel okay right now if i just go back and let's just go in the services screen so we need to now provide the other setup because right now we have been created our uh portion of there so in that services what kind of services we have we need to inject here so first i'm going to close all other parameter uh, okay i'm going to close all and let's just roll back in the services okay in the services i'm going to provide a title we're going to provide a separate component which is going to be named as title dot uh, capital t rnfp so in that particular title we're going to provide that our value props so that it will be very easy and simple so what i'm going to do i'm going to grab it all here so what i'm doing here i'm going to just simply using a component here passing that text 5 excel by default font semi bold by default and also we are get, taking that class name and also the children whatever the text we want to put we can just providing it that as a dummy text so instead of the text we're going to grab the title here so it will be our title see okay let's import and see we get our services so in the services we will just simply go the predefined data here so you can just go and fetch that it's just a simple a uh, simple combination and simple uh, data parameter you see the suggestion data we are providing here and also with the detachable opacity and then uh, we are going to using that our image tag also here don't worry i'm going to explain what i'm doing here right now and also i'm going to grab that import tw from tw rnc and also i'm going to get that width from there width and it will be dimension dot get which will get set of window setup okay and also need to inject that fat list right now hit save so what we did first we're going to provide a title which is just just uh giving us our services then we are passing a title which go anywhere get anything then in the flat list we are providing the suggestions uh, data and here we are giving that column of two so two column will be generated as you see and then we are passing a touchable opacity within that opacity we are passing our image and then our title that's it 
So that's the simple combination. And with that, we finish our services. And now for you can also interject with so many other companies. It depends on we can combine, you can mix more, uh, you can create it more in a creative way, whatever the services you want to provide and how you can flex it or max it, it depends on you. And after the services, let's go in our activity and for activity, because I'm not dealing with that much sort of things here because it's just a simple combination. Okay, you can make it as your own the way you feel it better. It's safe. Uh, okay, we 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 made something wrong. What we did? Okay, uh, okay, what we did wrong? Let's just grab open the expo again. I think yeah, for the activity yeah, we we made the mistake because that's the activity which is clarifying, so it will be overwriting. Mm, okay, yeah, now it can get it. Okay, so okay. Right now, we are going to need uh, passing the title, and also we need to import our tab or icon. And similar way, we need to also import that DW from DW RNC. It's it. So now we got our activity tab. So whenever you are dispatching any activity, you can inject here. Then let's just roll back to our account. So don't worry about it. So all the code I'm going to provide you later on. So if you're feeling that what's happening, so don't be freak out, just go with that. It's just simple combination. And for that activity, also we need to provide a sort of icon things because whatever the icon we are going to use, we're going to use the help and payment activity. We will also use the account is setting messages and other properties. Uh, oops, it's not here. <laughs> I think we need to go to our account and I'm gonna also make close others and here I'm gonna define it the first I'm gonna get in the icon names as type so now I'm passing that names it will be available there so that's the account data and that's the account list so that's the two set of uh, data and list I'm providing the first things here initially what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna just go and grab those properties so it's a simple combination here so nothing fancy here but I'm dealing so in the container as you see I'm passing a title and in the title passing the name okay needs to provide that okay also I need to grab my icon okay done so what i'm doing i'm just passing a simple view here i'm providing the title john doe then after the title i'm providing my star mark with a bit of design and then in the tab bar icon i'm putting that personal icon so that's the one view which i have been doing here and after that also now uh, there is one portion which i'll help you to how you can go we can create a scroll view Okay, in that is called view, we're going to pass a view here and that view, we're going to just map through. Remember, we have the accounts data. So account data dot map. In the map, we're going to pass the item. And after that, we're going to simply return that. So we're going to return a touchable of a city. And here, we're going to pass a tab bar icon. Tab or icon, and in that icon, we're gonna pass the name which is going to be item.icon, and here also we're gonna provide the size which is going to be 35. And after passing the size, we're gonna also make that color. So, color we're gonna provide that white color, it's safe. So, right now you will not see anything because also we need to provide that key which is going to be item.title which. Uh, going to have a different title every time and after passing the title also we need to provide a text here it should be that text and here it should be item dot title as you see that's appearing so what i'm gonna do providing some class name on that particular touchable opacity only then it will be a bell here okay as you see so now what we did, VG Black, give a width of 30% and padding Y3, item center, justify center, that's it. So now let's roll back here in that view, putting in style here, GW. 
AW. And here, what we're going to do is that we're going to make it as flex row and also make this item as center and justify should be between. Okay, cool. And for the scroll effect, which we are going to provide a style, and here, uh, uh, so it should be TW and margin top should be providing us five. Okay, done. And also for the text parameter, providing a text and style should be TW and then text should be white, margin top should be three. Okay, done. So that's the one properties and why I make it as a scroll view. So whenever I scroll, it can be passing with that particular view. Okay. So with the same effect, with the same Afafani, what I'm going to do after that view, I'm going to generate another view, which going to render my member, uh, the account list parameter, the settings, messages, and others. And also for after initially on that, I'm going to just generate one text, which will be lorem of 200 just to see how simply your combination can work as you see it can scroll right cool so for the scroll view what i'm going to do is that to pro horizontal indicator which going to be cross ah not horizontal that should be the vertical so vertical indicator should be cross okay that's vertical or horizontal? That's the show horizontal. I think, yeah, horizontal. That's really annoying me. It's vertical or horizontal? Okay. But I'm not putting it. I'm just talking with you people, but not exacting it right here. So it will be show vertical indicator, which is going to be as. If we now click, as you see, indicator is gone. And also what we can do in that particular text layer, we can provide some of the style names so that it can be uh, looking pretty much perfect. So style, TW, and here the text should be small and font should be semi-bold and margin top should be 2. Okay, cool. As you see, now you have it. So if you go back here in your home page, you see that's working. We have services, we have activity, and then we have our account. If we go in the home, if we just select any uh, destination here, let's just surf for the London UK. Okay, cool. Let's go back in the London. Let's have a ride. And in that London, if we just want to roll back here, let's type that London Bridge, or we'll go to the airport. Okay, as you see, the destination is overlapped and is working perfectly. Now we can choose our destination and roll back to go with the right. So now, as you see, we have it here. We can also run it in our Android devices. And to run it in the Android, I'll open my letter here. Then we can run it in our Android devices to see if it's working or not. So just give it a time to just run it perfectly. Okay gonna make it bigger okay close it so give it a time to run that application there so now it's open in the android and let's see how it's working in the android close the debug method and up here i'm gonna just type again to go back in the london let's have a travel here to see how it's working so in that london london uk okay and now we can select our reasoning. Don't skip that serializable error, whatever it is. So it will not go back in the production layer. So don't worry about that. And here we're going to just, as you see the touch, that uh, keyboard avoiding view. So that's how it's going to be work. So now if we go back in the London airport, so it should be providing that airfield value. Okay. Passing the distance. Okay. Now taking the ride and we should be able to locate the distance other parameter. I think that's cool. It's both working for the iOS and Android and it's perfectly blend with that. So I think that's it. That's your build to grab that and to have it perfectly as your own setup. So I think you should give it a try that how to create it from this scratch and how to flex it with that with a different method. You can use in multiple complexity here because I keep it simple, but you can make it more complexable, uh, like uh, providing some more complex method and so on. So 
try it and don't worry in future there is we are going to having the news application we're going to having the blog application and some other applications using the react native parameter so all the best for this video and if anything you require to know any possibilities or any thing obstacle you're facing let me know in the comments i'll help you out to go with that so all the best with that build we'll see you in next